Good afternoon. Welcome back. Tuesday, May the 5th. Hope you are well. Um, I had, I'd made a little error in my last video lesson. I'm wondering if anybody caught it. I don't have any of my little prizes or treats here to hand out online. Uh, I was talking about how, you know, I mean, we, we do live in a democracy. Anyone can become prime minister, and yet it's always been just men. The United States as well. Not completely true. Uh, Kim Campbell in 1993 from the Conservative Party served as our prime minister for a few months. So it hasn't been all men, but almost. Um, but hopefully in the future, things will be a little bit more mixed. But in ancient Athens, anyone could be prime minister. But of course, with the caveat, with the exception, had to be a man, couldn't be a slave, had to be born there. And yet, compared to anywhere else in the world at that time, that was real progress. Uh, so, uh, your Citizen's Handbook Writing Assignment. This is number two. It's actually the third one you've done, but we're calling it number two because that first one about marijuana was a practice round. Number one uh, was last week. Um, uh, and I've got almost all of those in now uh, about, you know, what form of government is best. Uh, still some to go, though. Get yours in. It's not due till Wednesday. You've got a bit of time, but get it done. And now Citizens Handbook Writing Assignment number two, some of you probably have guessed, was ancient Athens really a democracy? Really? It was, it wasn't. You argue the point. Um, the format, now this is not an essay, it's a writing assignment, but the essay format does tend to help organize your thoughts, five paragraphs. It doesn't have to be like that, but you know, in the first paragraph, it is good for me to hear, uh, well, first of all, what the topic is, where you stand, and your three main points, your three reasons why uh, you believe that it was a democracy or was not a democracy. And then you can elaborate, give each of those points its own paragraph, and then at the end, summarize, restate uh, your three main points and why you believe it was a democracy or was not. I think we're going to stick to Wednesdays for due dates. So this Citizen's Handbook Writing Assignment number two is due next Wednesday. That would make it May the 13th. Um, you know, and you know, you all, you have other classes, and I'm not sure what your schedule looks like. For some of you, it's like, oh, I better get these done early because I get really busy around the middle of the week. For others, maybe I'll only be seeing them on Wednesday. That's fine. You, you, this is a real um, a challenge, but this is a real a way for you to grow in terms of your time management. You're getting a lot of work, kind of loose ends, and you're having to figure out how do I get all of this done. Some of you don't have a lot of access or you can't be on the computer when you want to be and you're having to sort of negotiate all of that. And we're, we're going to get through this. We're going to get through this. As I had said, and I will say again, this Thursday, I have a very important video message for you and your parents. Just to clarify some things about civics, that will come to you Thursday morning. It will be brief, two minutes tops. Uh, please make sure your parents see that as well. And one other heads up, don't want to scare you now, it's not meant to scare you, next Monday, that's the 11th, you're going to get the biggest video lesson of the course, the most important lesson of the course, um, and I think the most useful lesson of the course. After all, what is the purpose of school? What is the purpose of all this? Is it to get credits? Is it to get that piece of paper that says, oh, I've got a high school diploma so I can go on and do other things? Those things are important. The purpose of school and education is to learn. Imagine that. And we're going to learn a lot next Monday. All right, I'm going to leave it at that. Anyway, all the best. Get your Citizen's Handbook Writing Assignment number one on forms of government in if you have not. And then get to work on this one, number two. You've got till next Wednesday. You've got eight days. This does not take eight days. You know, come on. Uh, just budget your time. Uh, do things when you need to do them, uh, when you have the time. And then get stuff into me. All right? Take care.